You supervise him, Bob? I've only broken one thing so far. I've only broken one thing. Welcome back to Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. I got it wrong yesterday. Uh, before I start driving all over the state doing some shed shopping, I need to fix the uh, tail light. So I uh, ordered one and it came in and uh, now I've already started uh, loosening stuff up so that I can replace it and hopefully I am now successful. But here we go. To get into this tail light, you got to get behind here to uh, disconnect the old one and connect the new one. And to get behind there, you got to take uh, this up uh, and loosen it. And then you got some bolts and stuff like that. But all right, I got it in there. Now I got to put it all back together. One tail light fixed. That was not ne as nearly as easy as they made it look on YouTube last night. It was, it's hard getting behind that panel because you got to disconnect the one set of cords and then reconnect it. And so you got to take stuff apart. And yeah, but I got it. I just have to point out how smooth this sits at idle. I mean, there's nothing shaking, no vibration on the steering wheel. I mean, nothing's shaking or vibrating or anything. This is just smooth. For a car with 205,800 miles on it. Tail light was a success. And now I did the key fob. Yeah, all I had was the ignition key. So I ordered one of these on the internet. It comes with instructions and uh, it works. Lock. It beeps. I don't like beeping. Now I got to research how to make it stop beeping. Press it once for just the driver's door and twice for all the doors. Cool. I am out shed shopping again today. The first place I went to in Ozark, the salesman came out, so I didn't want to film while he was there. Uh, he didn't have much of a selection. And uh, got talking with him. I'm gonna call him back tomorrow. We'll see uh, what that's about. But now I'm at the second location here in Paris, and they're already closed for the day. They closed at four, but I can show you around. Uh, that's a 10 by 20 metal. That's a 10 by 16. That's exactly like the one at the other place. I think that's a 12 by 24. And then they got a bunch of 10 by 16s and 10 by 12s. Uh, uh, no prices on any of them, but he's going to go grab me some. <laughs> It is about 10 after 6. I should be home by dark. 
I'm uh, just a few miles outside of Waldron. Uh, yeah, rattling in the back. I haven't reconnected all the all the bolts yet on the back panel. Sorry about that. Uh, didn't think ahead <laughs> to recording. But yeah, uh, pretty uneventful day. I got a really late start because it was, uh, yeah, kind of a bother to change out that tail light. And it took me a few tries to get the key fob programmed. But I got both of them done and both of them going, but I got a little bit later start than I wanted to. And then on this road that I'm on right now, I got stopped for 20 minutes because they are redoing redoing the road and they need to redo the road. This has been a bad one. Some of you have seen it over on, uh, on Mike's channels. But yeah, they had a good stretch and uh, we were waiting there for quite a while. So I didn't get up to the, the shed uh, sales places until late this afternoon. Uh, the first one didn't have much of a selection, uh, really nothing in my price range. And uh, he could not get a hold of their big shed delivery driver. You, uh, there's a, a lot of different people can deliver the small sheds. But my shed to house is 12 by 40. And not just anybody can deliver one of those. You've got to have one of the tilt trailers uh, with the winch and it's got to be big and strong uh, vehicle pulling it and you need the mule uh, to help you maneuver it and get it up and down and around. So not just anybody can move my 12 by 40 shed to house. So yeah, the first one he couldn't get a hold of his delivery guy and the second one they closed at four but the guy came out and talked to me anyway. Uh, the second place did not have prices in any of their buildings. So uh, I'm glad he came out so I, I got to see some prices. They did have a 10 by 20 uh, metal sided. Uh, it's, it's also made by Dirksen. And it had the side doors and it had two windows on it. So I really like that one. Um, that one was in my price range so i'm gonna try to go back up there in the morning they couldn't get a hold of their uh their shed delivery guy either <laughs> i bet it's all the same one anyway uh so yeah back at it tomorrow uh, i'll be going back up to paris then luckily that's closer paris had quite a selection of them in my price range that 10 by 20 was the best value it was the biggest one for the you know in my price range they had a bunch of 10 by 16s and a few 12 by 16s which were they're a little bit outside of my price range but i gotta know how much they're gonna charge me to uh, move my shed from my old place to my new place once i know how much that's gonna cost then i'll better know how much i have to spend on a storage shed boy the yeah, I need to clean my windshields. Um, that's about all I can tell you. I think I've hit all the dirks and no, I haven't. Um, you get free delivery and set up within 50 miles. And uh, so uh, Fort Smith and Van Buren, Russellville is also within 50 miles. Uh, so I might need to go hit up uh, Fort Smith and Van Buren and go back to Russellville and uh, check them out also. But yeah, as of right now, no new storage shed and uh, haven't even talked to anybody from these shed sales places about uh, moving my, my shed to house. So yeah, that's just how it is. Maybe I'll have better luck tomorrow when I go back up to Paris and uh and we'll see what we can do there yeah see they've got all that entire lane over there stripped out yeah this is gonna be nice when it's done um i hope they get it done soon because i'm gonna be making a lot more trips on this road back and forth from my current place to my new place okay not much else i can tell you uh yeah Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. 
and I will catch you guys tomorrow with some more shed shopping most likely.